Hola, hola! Welcome to another episode of Out of Bacon, the show that helps you navigate your struggles, your challenges, your traumas, whether they be COVID related, 2020 related, or if you happen to be overcoming narcissistic abuse like I did. It was actually in preparing for this show and considering the damage that narcissists do that I suddenly remember that there's an election coming up. <laughs> now that brings us to our project for today because I like to do um, projects to sort of turn your thinking mind away from your struggles that you're going through, right? Because what do I call it, right? The hamster wheel of worry. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Or we can plant something or we can cook something or we can learn how to vote by mail. Now, I know there's a lot of things going on right now about voting by mail, a lot of fear, a lot of worry, a lot of concern, but I can quell all those for you right now. As a Washingtonian, I vote by mail all the time. That's all we do. In fact, we've been voting by mail for uh, how long now? you through this because it really is much simpler than it's made out to be okay we've been doing this for a long time so have some other states which I'll mention here soon well I don't know where the idea of these marauders coming to raid your mailbox and steal your ballots and, and vote for people that I don't know just like steal your vote that's not happening state we don't have that problem well, I don't know where this fear is coming from. But remember, narcissists love to use fear as a method of control. Let's say that again. Narcissists like to use fear as a method of control. Okay. So I'm going to help you out. There's nothing to fear. Not one single thing. Not at all. Not at all. But I'm going to show you how to do this using my overdue State Farm bill as an example. No, I'm sorry, I don't have an actual ballot because the last ballot I had went into a, a ballot slot. Um, I arrived almost late. I had 10 minutes before that ballot box closed and behind me came five other people trying to get theirs in before everything closed up. It was over in a shopping center by a Taco Bell. I shit you not. It really is that simple. So, you know, make a run for the border, drop off your ballot, no big deal. But yeah, no, we made it all, nobody closed the ballot box or anything like that before every single person who was behind me put in their, their votes too. And guess what? All our votes were counted. Yes, it really is that simple. So in your ballot, when it comes, this is my overdue state front bill. But when it comes, <clears throat> the first thing you're gonna do is open it. Inside, you will find your ballot. I know, again, it's my overdue State Farm bill. It's an example, okay? And two envelopes. The small one's called a sleeve. And the big one is your official, your official envelope. And that's the one you're going to sign, proving that you are you and there's also a barcode on the side. So they know who they deliver this mail to. Um, it's to me, to Tanya Montes. And then on when it's time to sign, I will also sign Tanya Montes right here so they can verify that. So there's this idea that all these crazy things are gonna happen if you vote by mail. Actually, it's so much better. Like I've, I'm in my PJs right now. So, <laughs> so really, you can totally vote in your pajamas, all right? The only thing you have to do is walk from your mailbox and then to your mailbox, or you can find the ballot boxes that are in your area. Now, there are some challenges if you are um, not in Washington State. I'm going to post some links up. Um, Axios.com has created this fantastic um, map of, of the United States 
and it's color coded based on whether or not you are a voting by mail, then you're dark blue. If you're light, I'm sorry, dark purple, hey, my favorite color. If you're dark purple, then you're voting by mail, just like we do in Washington. If you're a light purple and even lighter purple, um, you don't need an excuse or a reason or anything like that uh, in order to request your mail-in ballot. If you're peach colored like Texas and a couple of other southern states, if you are peach colored, you do have to have a reason while, why you are voting by mail or requesting a mail-in ballot. And you could easily just say, well, because the whole entire world is shut down right now, or well, the United States. So you could just say, you know, due to COVID and that you don't feel comfortable. So you can just, you can request a mail-in ballot. And we've been doing that for the longest time. And the same thing happens in your state, I'm sure, when you request an absentee ballot. Let's say you went to grandmama's for Thanksgiving and you wanted to spend the whole month there. Oh no, you might miss election day. Well, then you can request an absentee ballot and have that, um, <clears throat> and have that sent your way instead. So it's basically, it's the same thing as an absentee ballot. So nothing to worry about. Anywho, so to our exercise. So we have opened up our election envelope and inside is everything that we need. Our main envelope with the signature block, our sleeve, this one goes on the inside, and our ballot. Mine is my bill. <clears throat> my bill, again, I don't have a ballot currently. It has been mailed to me yet because it's still August and who wants to sit on that for several months? So it's gonna be sent out closer to election time. All right, <clears throat> and it looks somewhat like this. So we would have names here and then you have, you know, what you're going to color in. It's much like a Scantron sheet. Okay, and then you just go down through all of these and make your selections. Now, if that sounds kind of challenging, you're like, I don't know who these people are. That's okay. Because before you get your ballot, probably a week or two beforehand, you get a booklet. Uh, it's kind of like made of newspaper material, but it looks like a magazine. And it has every single candidate in it and a sort of synopsis of what they stand for, what they vote for, what they're, um, what, what they're going to be doing when they are in office. Okay, so easy peasy. There are also on your awesome mail-in ballot, you will have propositions, um, you know, like lowering taxes, if you're gonna pay for the levy for schools, things like that. If you're in Washington, more than likely, the uh, licensing of vehicle will probably be on there. <laughs> it keeps coming up, it keeps coming up. <laughs> So anyway, so you all have the president, but then you have the governors and you have your, you know, you have your, your representatives, your senators, things like that. You also have like low level people, um, like no, not low, low level, but you have your mayors and you have your, um, you know, things like, uh, prayer, precinct committee officers. I am a precinct committee officer. Actually, I have like this much responsibility. I represent 119 people from the wonderful South Bay district of Olympia, Washington. And like I've been politically active since second, seventh grade. <laughs> In fact, this weekend I'm going to a, oh, tomorrow, <laughs> I guess I got to start memorizing my stuff. Tomorrow I'm going to, um, to the Olympia Witches March and going to be presenting uh, something there. So, and yes, I'll be recording it and I hope to bring it to you next time. All right, <clears throat> see you. Do we have any questions? I think we've got everything figured out. So again, your name is on here. See? My name is on here, just like my State Farm bill. So your name will also be on your ballot. Mm-hmm. And then you have all of your selections. So your selections will be on this side too. I just didn't doctor it up. Then I made it up here. Okay, so it's, it's very simple. Like you just color it in, that's all you do. Just try and color in, you know, try and color in nicely. So the machines and the people verifying and looking at your votes can easily tell who you are voting for and, ev and everything is great. So no questions, right? It's too, it's too simple. So I'm not quite sure where the worry came from to begin with, but you know, when in doubt, ask someone who knows. Washington people have been doing this forever. Before we go, I just wanted to bring you one last message from teacher Tanya. You guys all know that I was a teacher for a long time. I was a humanities teacher. That's English and history, okay? Not English language, but like 
English literature and writing and history, so humanities. So yes, I was a history teacher. And I just want to remind you that when this beautiful, wonderful, amazing country of ours started, not everyone had the right to vote. And I know all of you think, yeah, I know, black men and women got the right to vote eventually, blah, 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 uh, uh, uh. No, it was much more restricted than that. At first, it was only property owners that could vote, white, property owners that could vote. So if you're renting right now, your vote would not have been counted. Luckily, here we are in 2020 and things have, um, have chugged right along and, and people who didn't own property were able to get the vote and then the rest of us black men, um, people, men of color, and then finally women were able to vote as well. Would you believe that? 55% of the population of our country and we didn't have the right to vote. Anyway, so because you have the right to vote and because it was such a hard fought battle to gain the right to vote, please, please use it and use it wisely. Think about your America. Things are strange right now, right? So does this look like what you know, the America that you want to continue? Or would you like a change maybe to something a little bit more familiar? Perhaps something having to do with Kindness, kindness, caring, compassion, maybe a little bit of empathy. If this is the America that you want to continue, go ahead and vote accordingly. If you would like a change, if you would like things to maybe calm down a little bit and start to resemble something of familiarity, um, maybe someplace that you'd be you know, proud to raise your kids. <clears throat> So remember, you have some due dates coming up. November 3rd is our election day. Technically, you need to have your mail-in ballot um, postmarked by then. However, the post office is recommending that you put your mail-in ballots in the mail two weeks prior, considering all the attempt to destroy our post office just to infiltrate our current elections. Congress stepped in on a had a rare Saturday meeting to protect the Postal Service so that wouldn't happen. So November 3rd, it latest possible, I try and get it in earlier. So I want you to look at it like an overdue State Farm bill, okay? So you see, oh my gosh, I need to pay my insurance. You're gonna tend to it right away. Same thing with your vote. Make it happen, make it count. Millennials, come on, we need you, all of us, all of us need to come together and get this country righted again, okay? <clears throat> and you can do it all with just your vote. It really does count. It really does matter. And the power really is, like Captain Planet says, the power is yours. This is the election that will be written about in history books. And when your grandchildren ask you, what did you do during that election? Are you really going to say, I just sat there watching Netflix, or I never requested my ballot, or I forgot to get a stamp. Well, you don't have to, because these are already pre-stamped. Or, you know, or you slept in that day and forgot to go to the ballot box. Ballot boxes are usually open pretty late. Uh, the last one I went to was open until eight o'clock, and we all pulled in at 7.50. <laughs> we all pulled in at 7.50 just to get in at the last minute. And it still passed, and we still counted, and everything was still good, all right? Okay, so if this is your first time voting, make sure you are registered. I want you to go to vote.org right after this video and double check your state's requirements. And then if you need to request a ballot, do so immediately, all right? And then as soon as that thing comes, as soon as that thing comes, I want you to sit down, go through your voting packet, go through your voting, your voting book, okay? Start getting used to who the candidates are. And then when your ballot actually comes, uh, make sure you get that thing done and back in the mail or back in a ballot drop box. We can do this, guys. We can do this together, okay? We, we can do this. Nothing to be afraid of. Nothing to be afraid of. It's so, so simple. And exactly what it means to be an American. I'm excited. Can't wait to see what you guys will do. I love you guys. Mwah! And see you next time on How to Bacon.